control triangle to enable menu narration. children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. Oh, there was no sand, there was no sea, no earth. From this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Bring 
Go. So, you see our king? Yes, good. Come here. <laughs> Did you find uh, the ring? Yes. Now, now for a little plan. You see us talking. Quiet as a wood mouse. And then surprise him with our gift. You hold it out, like this. You look him in the eyes and you say, Stierbjörn King, may our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. I think you can do that for me. Cut. Tonight, you will be the court that unite our people. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Sturdy long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. <laughs> like a seder works through my hammer. <laughs> The ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the northern way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones to start gift today? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. forever I am pledged to you <laughs> hearken well in hall of kings on ocean steed my words gain wings all then's meet I forth will bring a noble deeds and honor sing Ah. Ah. The brave men slain, Valkyria waits. 
Rewards for strain to our hurdle takes And horns resound the mighty horns For those who fight Not you, Reva. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil.
in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death would be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of our crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. Ha. Uh. To the ship! Uh. You move... ...and I take your eyes, you hear me? We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs> Save that for later.
Seeker is holding my crew. <laughs> Base men. I need to be careful. This place is heavily guarded. Shut this warriors. I should stay out of sight. I'm 
I should not be seen in this area. Once this land is under the cooked face lash, we will live like yours. It will not happen while Ravenclaw lives. They fight like berserkers. Ava Wolf kissed, killed a score or more single handed. Ha! Ava now tastes the slaver's whip. And with Prince Sigurd likely lost at sea, the Ravens will soon be a memory. Clash of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Shotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship.
Shirtless warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. They will attack on sight here. Longhouse. My crew should be inside. Should be an opening in the roof. like that and my axe will miss your neck unpleasant for both of us if i'm to die i want to make a mess of it back out You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Won't take long. I will sell you to hell herself! <laughs> Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut the hole and fight! Uh. <laughs> Die, you sack of shit! Ah! 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 
Herself. Kneel, Wolf Kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight. Die, you sack of shit. Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No. Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course.
Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Together, all right? from the other side. Show me.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Oh, thing, take you! Yeah! Dak, Greggy, grab your oars! The whale road leads us home! Gods, it's about time! Sail! Stop yeah, yeah, yapping and start way. rowing! Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut this man. Knowing it any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them.
Stiermeier. You must row in these waters. Hey, what's the matter? More sail! <laughs> Yotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Styrbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Kjotve's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse, it'll be his last song. returns and not half we thought we had lost you Eivor for good this time a warm welcome as always Ranvi you look like red and shit what happened nothing to crow about except to say the men who delayed us are dead and how are you well enough though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king he is not happy with you I expected as much and what of Sigurd has he returned from his raids my husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know.
Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. treasure i return with a boat and a full crew that is worth more than silver that doesn't count you need silver and jewels <laughs> Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Caught anything? Not today. I lack the pa- Shooting fish. Hello, Avar. Drink! Let us amuse the gods! All right, Tekla. I'll out drink you. 
Hey, Tegla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Staggering already. You can match horns with me. Lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Is there no one who will go around with me? Tovi, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit, and now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. See? All in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer. I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. 
Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... ...then I will make a fine goblet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... ...remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. Eivor! Good day, Alvis. You return! <laughs> I would. I believe in you. Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down, but today we'll abs- I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer! Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> in flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... ...then I'd tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe, and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Sven, have you
Have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tovi says she's trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Sven. Sure. Point me to some good hunting grounds. I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon. Sven, have you designed any new... A few words. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Need anything? See you later. Sure. <laughs> is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. Understood. I am not at the win all day. I must turn this around. I do miss the rattling of luck bones. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let us play. I am pretty good. Do not say I did not warn you.
will do. Like this. Hmm. Thank you. 
Ishwildu. Just got lucky. Another round. Another time, perhaps.
my eyes. See you, old friend.
Wolf Kid. Welcome back. Gunner. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I fought this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunner? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not the man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Need anything else? That is all for now. Return any time. would like to hear a story of the gods. There has always been a war. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. Come and drink. Let us amuse the They must be finished now. 
But if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Sven, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Sven. Sure.
Gale. Mick Gartha would drown in the blood spirit. And the guests would hide us. Is there no one who will go around with me? Volca? Hush! I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Satan. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it... The vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly. ...and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur... ...and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep... ...and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you... But you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Hmm? I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Ah, 
Harvey. Harvey! Why walk among the dead? Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Take it! Take it! What is... what has happened? This was not for you, Harvey. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God! I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, 
the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan, wake up, or you'll be cast into the wild. Stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. Fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ivan, Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. No, I was flying through the air. In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. 
When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch and sleep when in your bed. But now, report back before you're labeled a deserter. Go! land, my friend. I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I 
I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My coat. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. Too cold. My blood freezes. Be vigilant to search all places, whether high and dry, or low. I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now. The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature. Maybe more, if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different than the kind my flights of fancy attract. Burdened. Decorated and delicate. Delicate? The others, they are like clubs, blunt and ungainly. You are nimble, like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or vikinger will do? I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another, but. Am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. <laughs> Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. My shoulders are tense. And my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Beale. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself.
have a look soon. Can't remain long in this ice bath. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I'll speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stubjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies, and our victory is guaranteed. Chatve and his clan will never negotiate with us. They speak the language of war, so we must answer back. I have waited a lifetime to take back the honor that Chatve took from my family. Now is the time to act. My time Are you to so act. blinded by vengeance that you cannot see beyond your nose? 
Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, Vaughn! Sigurd! <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. What, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you, salt-cured vikinger. <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just a start. <laughs> <laughs> Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham, we met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps, if you're standing safely beside him. I must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotbe from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kjotbe the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Uh, father... Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. 
with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Ranvi. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on, or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband return? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. <laughs> Hytham, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always, I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's meat. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of her meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. <laughs>
I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink! <laughs> ah, you would put Thor to shame. From drinking to breathing, you turn everything into a competition, brother. I must always be prepared. <laughs> True enough. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Hytham is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... ...and training. Please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifam. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours, it has a name. Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. <laughs> That's it. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above.
Exactly, just like that. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. A perfect strike. Mentor, does anyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kjötve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Shot base warriors.
This one would not have come alone. I should find the others. Show me what lies ahead. Bad feeling, just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report while we can. We can bring Kyut then you. Those are the long ships. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Yot returns, we weigh our next move. But I am not one for sticking around, hear me? Quit bawling, you babe. They may be drunk, but they're not dead. Sigurd must know about this. With each day we wait, Kurt will grow stronger. I speak as your king, Sigurd, not your father. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save her. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Chotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Chotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyrtle learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. <laughs> Do 
To the waves. Can't raise the sail here. Huh? Sing, my ravens. Let the sail out! Hush. Warriors! Drink it! from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again. I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtfall from Kurtwes. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his death. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. You Salskjals got a story. Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Eir. A brooding warrior with a face of stone and oak-hard arms. On a raid in Corland, we shored up along the edge of a forest and explored until we came to people parts. A large farm. It was night. Get ready! Sail down! The ravens claim no fun for Odin! We place this place! Burn and pillage! Let all who bless to Kjotve feel the frost of ah. steel! Stay focused! Hold tight, my blows! Stay focused!
Clan, you reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kjotve's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Kjotve lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatbe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. 
Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kurtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjodvis stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason... I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack?
We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. The neighbor may give challenge to Kyrtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyrtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyrtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Set sail when you're ready. Are you prepared to embrace your destiny, Eivor? I have waited years for this, but I will not risk losing it through rest. We set sail when you're ready. Are you prepared to embrace your destiny, Eivor? Today my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors... ...and cut short the court of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor! A word! Basim, hide them. This feud is not yours. Yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjadve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kjadve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kjotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed.
Sigurd Horson. Slink around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your renets to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged Wolfkist. Squeal as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. I need no weapons but these hands. your day to die. Why do you refuse to die? We are not alone, Chatve. The old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves.
shameful trick, Wolf Kissed. You are your father's child. Price wolf kissed the glory of my death. All for this. Your coward father is empty sacrifice. Heed the price of our war, wolf kissed. The harvest. Of three dead generations, all their names are known. It all means nothing. No, my clan will not be forgotten. <laughs> Clan, your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf. Kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers. Fire! Arrows coming! Forward to glory! Meet your fate. <laughs> Die! 
die! Stay with me! Almost there! <laughs> Pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. 
Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Father dies twice today. Avon, <laughs> we have the day. Let the coward go. Plunder! The breath of battle rises from my brow. The scouts will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Alrikstanir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time.
Do you see?
Survey the area, Sunan.
What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you! A battle-hardened vikinger! <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack. But we must first practice our raiding. <laughs> Going on a raid? Then we shall raid. Three wolves, and I will be the fourth to your lead. Wolf pack! Onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors, like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. Destroy. Arrived at the village. Torches, axes, and blades at the ready. Ready for the slaughter. To war! Ah! now. 
now. What do you see, Suna? Oh. Uh -huh. 
A successful raid. Yes! With your help, we slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. The Raven Clan, you say? Yes. Just like Chotve Yal's stories. One day, I'll be just like him. Doctor Stupion! Doctor the Raven Clan! <gasps> young raiders. See you wolves on another battlefield one day.
is a foul stench, but we are strong, Ergi. Yes, strong with stink. <laughs> Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Let's see your silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? Purse a bit light. <laughs> no matter. Ha! Ah, we drink! Step closer, seal face, and say that again! I said your stench is strong! That's your only strength! Your stench! I think there's enough lag stuff, sir. Sink it faster than me. Is it the silver or the... You've just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorim is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. 
Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw or blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there. In the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How?
something going on? You irk her shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. <gasps> See you, old friend. Have a look, Sunan. <laughs> My love for you rises tall and strong like the tree of life. Do not promise me a mighty branch and then let me down with a tiny twig. Freya's beard, it has wilted again. I cannot remain firm when you talk to me like that. Does everyone in Alrechstadir play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age. No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raving. He would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. Now, after a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding! That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only a... Uh, well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid! A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes! Yes! 
Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream as you do, like it is really happening. <laughs> Maybe you could start by breaking things. It is uh, amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! What did it? I am as hard as Heimdall's tower! Then ram me like the Valgrin skates and enter Valhalla! Take all plunder you want, Vikinger! And take us also and let the love hunger consume you! Um, another time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. Hello, friend. Come see my wares. You should always have some of these. I'm sure I can find a use for this. Have you looked at everything I have for sale? I'll see you later, friend. Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. 
And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjord. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakraut, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harald, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me! Not a word! And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjorn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I dream of a glorious death. ...but not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust... ...and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd... ...and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway... ...both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new.
Ara's colors. He's already marking his territory. Orki, you there! God's what are you doing like a horny you wish to have words, Haral may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Are you one of Haral's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Haral take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. Show me what lies ahead. How can I help? Do you need anything else? I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when... carry you off to the capital. Would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you Moon Knight magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. Hi. I have those if you want them. Nothing more? and move on, you Moon Knight magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. Cast about this land, my friend. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. Will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wars will never end. Or they will push us into the Christian ways. Quiet all. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kurtva and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. 
The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It's within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Aid me. Be my eyes. <laughs> 